Welcome to my kitchen. We're going to have a great day today. I have brought it with me. Well, look at how you're dressed, Miss Sally. You see my shirt? This is Sally Kaiser Dyer. She's a nurse, but she doesn't even have shoes on today. I don't think you can see that, but she's looking like you're out. Are you going to make me exercise? Uh, really? I'm going to try to talk you into it. Now, Sally, tell, tell me a little bit about you. Who are you and why are you here today? Well, I'm a nurse at the Heart Institute in Loma Linda, and I, for the last Let's see, 35 years I have exercised so that I can eat. And I tell my patients there's no excuses for anyone to not find something that they can't do. So it says, well-behaved women seldom make history. Okay, it read that, so in case you couldn't <laughs> read that, I love it. So you're telling me that if I exercise, I can eat. Well, to moder in moderation. And so if I don't exercise, I probably shouldn't eat. <laughs> Oops. Well, you know, you hear from the doctors and the health authorities about how important it is to exercise to lower your blood pressure, to lower your blood sugars, to look younger, to keep the weight off, everything. You know, I'm sure everyone in the audience has heard it a million times. But I exercise for a different reason. Uh, years and years ago, I was very, very overweight after I had my last, my third child. And I decided that I really wanted to take the weight off. And back then, the only thing left was Jacqueline. That's all there was. That's how old I am. Yeah, well, we, this is for my vintage, yes, so we yes, understand yes. this. So I went to the Jacqueline gym, and it was filled with men and equipment and things that I didn't know how to do. Oh, oh, oh. did you go to one of those things that you put around your waist and went, Phew. Yeah, everything, Shake your fat. everything. Yeah, that was everything. good. Wasn't that good? Yes, and I stuck <laughs> with it, but it was very boring, and, and I, I got through it. But I, I, it, it taught me how important it is to find something that you really love to do. So a few years later, when I was living here in Loma Linda, there was a group called the Loma Linda Lopers that was starting, and they said they could teach anybody, any body size, and I was a big size, to run a marathon. And everyone said- And that's how long? How long? 26 miles. So okay. this is back when I was in my 30s, and I decided, well, gee, if you can teach anybody any body size, I'm going to do this. So I joined. It took me a year to run a mile. This is how out of bad of shape I was in. It took me about three years before I was ready to run my first marathon. So for those of you huge. that you know say I can't do it, I persevered. And what, the most valuable lesson I learned when I was doing this was I didn't want to do it. You hear that as you exercise, it gets fun, it's wonderful, you feel good. I didn't. I didn't want to do it. I got sweaty. I felt uncomfortable. But you know, I learned something very valuable that stayed with me the rest of my life. Every day that I kept running, when it was boring and I didn't want to do it, I, I would get back and I'd say, I did it. I did, I did it. it. I got out of bed. I didn't roll over. It was awful. I look awful, but I did it. And then I was able to run the Honolulu Marathon. Wow. Yes. Cool. Then I ran the LA Marathon. Then I ran the Honolulu Marathon, and then I ran the LA Marathon twice again. I ran five, five marathons in about probably about eight years. That's amazing. Yes. You may, oh, you make me proud that yes. I know you. Yes. But it was, it really, really was tough at first. It was very, very tough. And another thing that I learned is how motivating this can be for your children and what, how powerful it can be, especially if you've got teenagers and you're having trouble with the teenagers. Oh, yes. So I have this, we have yes. a few of those? Yes. So I have a wonderful story about what exercise can do not only for you, but for your children. Um, when my son, my middle son, my older son was 15, I was very, very concerned he was getting into drugs. So I made him a challenge that if he would run the Honolulu Marathon with me in December, which was his 16th birthday, I would buy him the surfboard of his dreams. But that meant that prior to that December, every single Sunday morning, he had to get out of bed and he had to run with me. It was extremely unpleasant. 
It was not a mother-son well, bonding. There's a 15-year-old is just now, usually a, a difficult age yes, anyway for obnoxious, bonding. Obnoxious, obnoxious. It's called bondage. Bonding, yeah, <laughs> bondage, yes, bondage. So we did it. We did it. We went to Honolulu. He bought. He got his surfboard. He was. He just had his 16th birthday. Now fast forward 10 years, and he decides to go in the Air Force. And at the end of boot camp, we all went down to congratulate him that he had made it through boot camp. And the drill sergeant comes racing over and says, I want to, I want to meet Michael's mother. And he grabs my hand and he says, I want to shake the hand of the woman of the one person that I could not break in boot camp. Woo! <laughs> and I said, what are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? And he said, Michael told me that it was so bad when he was 15, being dragged out of bed to do those runs that nothing in boot camp could ever compare to what his mother did to him. <laughs> you didn't think of yourself as a drill sergeant, nope, did you? Nope, but nope. It's called but, tough yep, mothering, yep, yeah. Yep. So I've got a kid that still, he's in his 30s now, and he's still running, and uh, my daughter is does what you love, the hot yoga. And it's just, and now I'm on to, I have two grandsons, and we just did a 5K together. Oh, how cool Of is myself that? and the two grandsons. They're eight and six. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That is simply mm -hmm. amazing. Well, I know there's a lot of people out there in television land that are an awful lot like me. I, I like to sleep in really as long as possible. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've learned this about myself. My body likes to wake up by itself at 7.15. Oh, that's which nice. Which is way <laughs> too late to make it to work, so you got to get up earlier than that. But, and then when I'm done with a day of work, and mm -hmm. this was not this way when I was in my 40s, mm -hmm. but now that I'm way past that, mm -hmm. I come home and barely drag mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. in. And although I've had the best intentions all day to say, this is my night to get out mm -hmm. and do something, I don't know, you come in, and then my husband started dinner, and then you eat dinner, and then you look outside, and then it's dark, and mm -hmm. then you go, oh, well, tomorrow night. Well, So how do you change your thinking about getting into you something? You have to do it slowly. It, it, what, the biggest mistake that people make is they buy a treadmill, they buy things, they, they join a gym, and then they don't go. Yeah. So the most important thing is to just start slow. If you at work could climb some stairs, if you could just on your lunch break or break, you know, I go out, I walk around the building. I just get mm -hmm. up and walk around the building. We're going to show in a few minutes some, a chair dancing video. You can just sit in your chair and you can, you know, you can do There's exercise and you can do leg lifts, you know, in your privacy of your little area that you're in. It, it's not hard to do something small to start. Anything. So the goal is... Start. For all of us here that are mm -hmm. a little bit like a turtle, like me, a little lazy, just move, move a little. Move. Just move. Yes. And a lot of people get the pedometers. They have these pedometers oh, yeah, that, you click, on that your... you click on, and then as you walk during the day at work, it tells you how many steps. And there's a program called 10,000 Steps. And if you can walk 10,000 steps, a day, you will lose a certain amount of weight if you keep your calorie intake down. And that motivates people once they start looking at that to say, well, you know, I did 20 steps, I maybe I can do 40 steps, maybe I can do 100 steps. Mm -hmm. And then, then I've had patients where they're out on their breaks, they're out on their lunch, they're, they're doing unbelievable things to get up to that 10,000 steps. steps. That's mm -hmm. really great. You know, I remember my mother when I was younger admired a woman in our community who was careful to not spend too many steps. She go, now you really plan yes. your trip to the basement and you make sure you take everything yes. to the basement yes. and you plan your trip yes. upstairs. And yet I, one of the best things I think in my life is I live in a two story house mm -hmm. and I am such a flibbity gibbet. I mean, I don't keep thoughts long enough. So I run those stairs probably at least 10 times before I leave That's for work excellent. in the morning. That's and excellent. I think it saved my life because, you know, there you go, up and down, up and yeah. down, and yeah. it's okay. Yeah, and that counts. That counts. counts. Everything counts. Anything you do that you move, that counts. So that's very good. That's a, that. What you're mentioning is is a problem. There is a mindset of a certain percentage of the population, right. particularly among women. It's men and women, but particularly among women, not to move. 
Well, that you and conserve the, your strength yes, by yes. not moving. But that's a fallacy because the more you don't move, the worse it gets. And if you take, you, for example, if you put someone on bed rest, oh yeah, you it will take them a, a huge amount of time to get over that period of time, depending on how long you kept well, them on bed rest. Well, it's one to two percent of your muscle mass, yes. as I remember from yes. nursing books, a day. Yes. So if you're in bed for ten days, you could lose twenty percent of your yes. muscle mass. That's a fourth yes. of your energy. Yes. And you know what? Do you know how I knew I needed to get back to exercise? How? Well, out here in California, we don't wear pantyhose so much, but you ladies in the Midwest, probably you still do. But I remember I used to just put on one panty, you know, you stand here, yes. one pantyhose, then you put the other yeah. pantyhose, then you now shimmy. You can't, now you can't no, do that. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know I couldn't do that. <laughs> I just realized that I put on one one day and then I leaned back into yeah. my counter mm -hmm. as I'm putting this other yeah. one on and I'm going, oh my goodness, yeah. no, 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 and I can't do that. And yes. that has to just, yes. that is just core strength. That is, that is the first muscle to, to really give you trouble are these big quadriceps. Yeah. 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 And you can't get down, you can't bend. Oh yeah, you squat down and then yeah. you have to hang on and yes, pull up. Yes, to pull up. I hope that doesn't happen to yeah. you. I won't even admit that it does to me. <laughs> yes. yes. And, you and if you see older people who are doing uh, any type of, of exercise where they are squatting down and then they're able to stand up, I'm talking about 70, 80, 90 year olds where they're down and they're able to get up. That's excellent. You can tell the person's in really good shape. That really is because mm -hmm. I've hard. even seen 60 year olds who just sort of Would grab you the hold it, it. No, or they just fall into yeah, the chair. Yeah. So this and chair continue. dancing we're going to show you, you, it helps build up the muscles without hurting everything with just simple movements sitting in a chair that almost anybody can do. Okay, let's watch that movie okay. for just a couple minutes. Country Western Chair Dancing. Plates together like you're holding a cowboy hat. Five, six, seven, eight. Tap and tap, tap and tap, tap and tap, tap and tap. With the arms pushing, tap and tap, tap and tap. Push your arms, tap and tap. And it's heel and touch, knee and step. 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 Heel and touch, lift your knee. Heel and touch, lift your knee. Hit the plates to your knee. Heel and touch, hit your knee. Heel and touch, hit your knee. Heel and touch, knee and step. 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 Triple step, one, two, three, one, two, three. Step two, three, step two, three. Adding arm pushes, push two, three, push two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Wow, that was Isn't really it fun? great. Isn't That's it so fun? much fun. I'm going to get that for my mother. My mother's mm -hmm. 87. Mm -hmm. And her concern in life is that she just doesn't bust a hip. Mm -hmm. So she's very careful how she walks around and mm -hmm. walks with her head down all the time. And I keep saying, Mom, put your head up and mm -hmm. see out. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't do a lot. She sits a lot in her chair. But this she could do. This yes. is so great. So what other what other things? I'm looking at me, my age. Let's let's talk about women. Well, what the we easiest do? the easiest is just to walk if you'll do it. A walking's That's, yeah. great. Now remember, we we did the chair dancing, but remember that just dancing. So any type, salsa, jazz, yeah, anything, you know, get a video, dance around your living room. That's cardiovascular That's exercise. That's good. That's so, fun. So that's fun. Swimming, an exercise bike, um, a treadmill. I have a friend that I have run with for many, many, many years, and we just tell stories. And we save our best stories. We don't tell them on the phone. We wait till <laughs> we're running so that we tell them there. Anything that you can do that you will stay with stay with. Yeah. Tennis, anything, whatever your thing is. And you know, I, I'm just, when you said something about um, dancing, it re reminded me of a book I read several years ago and it was called Another Country. I, sorry, I can't remember the author's name. But she was a woman who did a lot of research on elderly people mm -hmm. in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And what she, one of the things that she found mm -hmm. was that elderly people who danced, 
lived longer mm -hmm. than anybody else yes. because they had social yes. time together. They had a reason mm -hmm. to get out of their chair. Mm -hmm. They got to move. They got to, mm -hmm. uh, and they just had a much sharper brain, and mm -hmm. they just lived better. Mm -hmm. So. Not only are we going to look younger, but mm -hmm. our brains will stay more active, perhaps. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely, that's a good Absolutely, and you and there's several people like remember Jacqueline. Yes, he is still with us. He is still exercising. The he he had heart valve surgery not too long ago. He did just beautifully. He was they were hesitant because he was in his 90s, but. It turned oh. out okay because of all these years of ex Art Linkletter, now he just passed away, but he was in his 90s. He swam every day. You look at the dancers, the women dancers the, the, from oh, the 30s, yes. 40s, and 50s. They look so good because they have danced all their lives. Really use that really, cardiovascular, yes. use oh, those and muscles. And the, the Palm Springs, I don't know oh, where you are. Yes, the Follies. Out here in Palm Springs, every winter we have the Palm Springs Follies. These are women, I think the minimum age is 65. They're kicking their legs, they're dancing through the air, and they just look great. Amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So any kind of exercise that gets me moving, even yes. a little bit, is yes. good. And so I should start slow, Yes. build up. And don't have a lot of expectations, and try to find someone to do it with. That's so Accountability important. Accountability partner. Uh, yes, yes. Well, you know what else you can do? I, one reason I started walking more is I bought a dog. I have a pug. Oh, well, see, that's perfect. See, take the pug for yes. a walk. Yes, yeah, that's perfect. Pug likes to go, so if you can't yeah. have a friend, get a dog. And vary your exercising. I go, I have my running that I do one or two mornings a week, but if I'm going to have a really bad day at work and I know I'm going to be busy, I will put on um, either a video or I have another option. I go to Curves. I don't know if you've heard of curves. I have. I love curves for a very odd reason. <laughs> I want to go to a place that has no mirrors and no men. That and, sounds good. And, men, and curves is it. You walk in the door, it's a circuit of, of, of uh, different equipment and these little pads where you can walk or dance on it. And every 30 seconds you move to either the little dance pad or the piece of equipment. No men, no mirrors, you go around the circle, 30 minutes, out the door and you're done. I love it. And the women aren't there trying to impress men. No, nope, no. Nope, because I know that nope, the, uh, nope. the health club that I belong to. They're all... Look at me. And the girls look amazing, yeah, and it's yeah, like, what yeah. am I bringing my fat soul yes, here yes, to? Yes, <laughs> You kind yeah, of this, try to push it yes, in, you know? Yeah, this you can go, you can look in, well, at least I do. I don't care how I look, because you, the, the women are there to support you that you got there. Yes. You, you got there. And most of us work. We work full time, and we work hard, and we have families, and we're struggling with this, and everybody is supportive. That's amazing. I like that. And there's another place that I really like a lot, too, and that's where I see them having the aerobic swimming for especially senior citizens. The, arthri the arthritis, the twinges and hinges. Twinges and hinges. Well, they got all kinds of names. But when you're in, in the water, water yes. you can squat and yes. stand up so much easier. Yes. And it doesn't hurt your knees or your hips if you've already got some mm -hmm. challenges with them. So if you call your local uh, senior center, Okay. Uh, the um, uh, Chamber of Commerce, there are all sorts of different resources in different communities to see who has, because obviously in different parts of the country you're going to need an indoor pool. Right. But the Arthritis Foundation really does a good job with these classes. Well, that's a great idea. So mm -hmm. did you all get that? Arthritis Foundation. Mm -hmm. You can Google it. You can call your city. And see if you can find a, a pool that offers yep. the Twinges and Hinges classes. Twinges and Hinges. Mm -hmm. I also know that in some of our cities that are cold in the winter there's a mm -hmm. lot of mall walking yeah yes now you yes. can't now just you can go mall walking but you can't reward yourself well maybe you can with the big <laughs> cookie and the muffin on your way out well the only problem with that is then you put back on if you're trying to lose right, weight what you just the best thing after you exercise is to have something that's very high in protein right away that's okay. the best thing to have so again you're Peanut butter or egg white. Egg whites are really a good thing okay. because it's just pure. Scramble them up. Yeah, scramble them because they're real. They're, or egg beaters. egg beaters. They're you know they're just pure protein. The, the problem with the peanut butter is it's protein, but it is fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fat. well, and some of it has a lot of sugar in it. Yeah, well, you don't want Jiffy or Skippy. You want the nat natural peanut. Yeah, butter. the one that you grind yeah. up yourself yeah. or buy. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds like good. Now, 
I cannot tell you, Sally. I don't even want to admit to y'all out there. Oi, oi, oi. How many times I have started something and quit. Mm -hmm. I was a Jacqueline. I belong to this club. I belong to that club. How do I pick something and stick with it? Well, the most important thing is you have to get, you, for, in this situation, is find a friend. Find a friend that you can do something with. Mm -hmm. Or find something like a 5K, 10K that is an event for some something that you want to raise money for. Like now we have uh, breast oh, awareness. Yeah, so we can walk so, for breast yes, cancer. Yes, or a bicycle for breast aware, uh, awareness. Uh, people forget that you can, you know, if you're married or have a friend, you can get a tandem bicycle. Well, that'd be fun. And, and then you can talk. Now, I love, we have a tandem bicycle, and I love it because I'm on the back, and it's the one time my husband is a captive audience. He <laughs> can't get away from me, and I can st sit on the back and tell him everything I've been wanting to tell him all week. And he can't even reach around and hit you. No, no. Or no, dump the bike. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. <laughs> so it, you got to come up with different things, but basically if you have someone, because the tandem bike helps me because there are a lot of weekends that I want to just stay in bed, and he'll say, let's go biking. And then I'm lying there thinking, I really want to just roll over and go to sleep. And I think, do I want to kill this idea? No, I don't want to kill the idea. So I get out of bed and I go, and then I feel better. That's really great. Mm -hmm. And doing something together, that's yes. great for your relationship. Yeah. But on with top a of friend, that. the same thing with a friend. You know, yeah. anything, anything you can think of to do. Oh, that's amazing. And if you can have a few varieties, mm -hmm. so you don't lose interest. And you don't get bored. And you probably should have something that you have at home. Yes. For those days yes. where it's just like too much trouble yes. to get to the gym, or it's too late, and you've worked late. Yes. You need to have something at home mm -hmm. that you can do. Or early in the morning. And, yeah. And when the time changes and it gets dark earlier or later, whatever, right. it, it, it's scary for women to go out by themselves. So if you have a dance video or any type of walk away the pound or this chair dancing, at least you're getting up and you're doing Doing something. Well, I know my daughters have been good motivation for me, and one of the things that they do quite regularly, our, our network that we have for our TV delivery has an on-demand exercise, and you can get, I would guess, 20 to 30 different kind of exercise videos that mm -hmm. are on demand. Mm -hmm. You just put the one you want in, and then you sit in your living room, though you have to kind of move the furniture a little mm -hmm. bit, and the dog mm -hmm. gets in the way, but yeah, it's okay. Now tell me, uh, you mentioned to me earlier about your hot yoga. Well, you know, I started that. That, when I was in my mid-twenties, I did karate mm -hmm. for about three or four years. I had never found anything I loved that much. Mm -hmm. I absolutely loved karate, and then I got sick. Mm -hmm. And just, um, I had some GI problems, and it was like, okay, you, you should not be taking insult mm -hmm. to your belly. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And things changed at the dojo and mm -hmm. I just sort of quit. And I never, it was the first time in my life I ever sweat and appreciated mm -hmm. it because I try not to glow or sweat. I mean, we were told that from children. You just don't sweat. So I love that. And after that, I really never found anything. I really tried lots of different things mm -hmm. until about two years ago, I spent a week um, on the coast of Oregon by myself and I sat there and said, self, you are getting about an age where you better do something. You're gonna, you know, use it or mm -hmm. lose it. Mm -hmm. And so as I was sitting there, um, I went down to a really nice spa mm -hmm. and had a back massage. And I just the girls were just so sweet, and we chattered a lot. And as I was leaving, one of the little girls comes running out, and she put her arm on me and said, "I have such a strong feeling for you and yoga. I just want to tell you that you and yoga." So okay, I come back to home and start looking around and there's mm -hmm. this big sign out there called hot yoga. Now I don't know if any of you got that in your area but I think it's 105 degrees in the room. 100 to yes, 105. Yes, yes. My daughter does it in 105 it's, to 110. Yeah, it's, it's very hot. hot. It's hot. Um, it's hot yoga. You, you wear these little clothes and it's 90 minutes long. There's only one rule. You can't leave. That's the only <laughs> rule. You can lay on the floor the entire time which trust me I've laid there a lot. But I, you just do this, and as you and the and the routine for me at the yoga studio I was at was always the same, always the same, which was so useful because part of it was one standing on one leg, and I already told mm -hmm. you with the pantyhose I can't stand on one leg, so there I am wandering around. But um, then then all of a sudden you were sitting on the floor, and then all of a sudden you're thinking, I think I'm gonna die just about now, and then we would turn to one more technique, and I'd go, Ah, oh, there's only two left, I can do this. Um, I found I was increasingly getting stronger. I, I loved it, but you know what I loved about it the most? I never, ever, ever once hurt. 
That's Because your muscles are so, so hot. And you warm them mm -hmm, up slow mm -hmm. and you cool them down and your muscles were so hot. Never, ever once was so I in pain. why did you stop? Studio went out of business. Yeah, see, that, and I've been looking for one ever since. Well, you need that. I give you this challenge. You need to find another hot yoga and restart because that's your thing. I, the was, way you're describing it. it Everyone was. has something and that's your thing. And you know what your treat is then? Your treat is you come out and you're just like, and you know, uh, you figured out we're in Southern California, <laughs> really hot. I would let all my windows down and mm -hmm. open up and the, that cool the air, air and thing the cool up on top. Yeah, yeah, by. Mm -hmm. Drive home beautiful, like that. It was just beautiful. fabulous. Drink lots of water and it was fabulous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How old can I get before I'm old enough not to do anything anymore? Well, I just chill. I, I, meant, I just mentioned Jacqueline and Art Linkletter. <laughs> And, you know, we have here in Loma Linda, we have the blue zone, and we yes, have people we are. that are over 100 that are still lifting their weights and going for walks. And so I say until you don't want to feel good, until you want to be old, you should, you can stop exercise. And most of us want to be as vital as we can. Absolutely. My mother is in a Masonic retirement home, and her next door neighbor, Clarice, is 106. And when I go up there and visit her, Clarice comes out, she shakes my hand, she has her martini every night, she goes down to the <laughs> dining room on her walker, I figure this is her exercise, and she walks down, walks down, 106 years old. 106 years old, mm -hmm. nobody's bringing her a tray. And she's exercised she's... all her life, nobody's bringing her a tray. Wow. And she looks good. And you know looks what, I've, I just have always wanted I want my body to live as long as my yes. brain, and I want my yes. brain to live as long as my body. Yes. I want to be yes. good. Yes, yes. Nobody wants to be decrepit. sitting there and decrepit in a chair <laughs> and can't move. So, okay. So what we're going to do as a result of this, ladies of America, you can take the challenge with me. I'm going to find a yoga studio, and you can hold me to that. You can come on the website and check out and see if I've done it. In fact, you can come to Smart Lifestyle TV or sls-tv.com, you can come to Kitchen Conversations and you can even send me an email. So let me know what you're doing and we're going to get something going. We're going to get moving, yes. even if it's a little yes. bit, every day an extra lap around the living room or mm -hmm. the lap around the front yard or your building you work in. Block. We're going to do yeah. some work out at work. Stairs, remember stairs, unless stairs. you've got joint problems, stairs are very good for yeah. you. Yeah, one up and two down. That's the rule. One up and two down. If you need to go somewhere, do not take an elevator. One up and two down. Yep. So we're going to get healthy and we're going to get physically fit and we're going to move just a little bit. Okay, you with me on that one? I really enjoyed this. Sally, you have been a great guest oh, today. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Hazel, thank you for having me on. You inspired me. Whoa. And your story about your son, that's that's phenomenal. And now your grandkids are walking yep. with you. Mm -hmm. That's that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to get a little more fit because our goal is to have a lot more kitchen conversations. Our goal is to be fit, mm -hmm. to stay well. We're not going to get in the flu season because mm -hmm. we're going to be so mm -hmm. fit. Think young. Yeah, think young. Think young. Collect our energy, mm -hmm. share it with our neighbors. In fact, go find a friend, neighbor lady. She's sitting mm -hmm. in her home too. Start walking and we're going to be well. We're going to stay happy. And we're just going to live the life that we have been given. So thank you for being my guest today. I look forward to our next show.